welcome, welcome, welcome to story time with me, Miss Sheila. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today I'm out by this beautiful color in the homes because the story we're going to read today is called Just Right. Just Right Family and Adoption Story. Oh, so let's get into it, okay? Okay. My family is Mama, Papa, and me. And it's Just Right. On Saturdays, Mama starts me off on the park swings, feet back me. She calls out that up, up, my toes reach for the sky, I'm flying. We feed the ducks. I like the ducks, but the big geese are scary. They won't hurt me, Papa says, I'm here. We pick out library books. We read them together, Mama, Papa, and me. Tell me my favorite story, I say every night. It's not in a book. Mama points to the big map on the wall to a place called China. We flew far across the sea to adopt you, she says. Why, I ask. We learned you need a new home, Papa answers. So we asked to be your forever family. We looked in our hearts and saw you there, Mama says. You were just right. It's the best story. It's my story. Isn't that beautiful? One night, Mama says, we have a surprise. A puppy, I ask. Nope, someday a puppy. She says, this is better, as they're at the ice cream shop. A sister, me? A sister, me, Papa says. We're going to adopt a baby. Our family is going to grow. Mama is wrong. A puppy would be better. The next morning at breakfast, I ask, why do we need a baby? Our family is just right. Papa and I looked in our hearts, Mama says, and saw her there. Sometimes I wish Mama and Papa didn't do so much looking. <laughs> Will the baby look like me or you? I asked. She won't look like any of us, me. Mama answers, she'll be just right. Why doesn't she stay where she is? I asked Papa on the way to school. Sometimes babies need new homes. We asked to be her forever family. Now Mama and I are double lucky. We have you and her. He smiles big and hugs me tight. I hug him back, but I don't smile much. Me and a puppy would have been lucky enough. How do you feel about being a big sister? My teacher asks. I don't know. I've never been one. I think you'll be awesome, she says. You're very, very special. I'm glad she thinks I'm special. I smile just a little. Where is the baby's room now? In a place called Haiti. On my map, Haiti looks far away. Papa and I need to go get her, Mama tells me. You're leaving me? Only for a week. Grandma will come stay with you. She has big plans. When Grandma calls, I sing her the new song I learned at school. She asks about the baby. She's coming, I guess. I got new shoes. Then we'll buy a, a dress to match. Grandma says, got lots of great stuff planned for us to do, kiddo. And I smile a little bit bigger. Mama lets me pick a color for the baby's room. The room is blue, my favorite. I tell her the baby's room can be pink. Papa buys a map like mine and hangs it on the wall. He puts a shiny star sticker on Haiti, another one on China, and then he puts one where our house is. What about my map? Papa opens his hand, another sticker. We put a star on Haiti on my map too. I walk around both rooms. Blue is still my favorite color, but I think pink is now my second favorite. Before they leave, Mama and Papa hold me tight. We'll be back before you know it, they say, and I hug Mama hard. My shirt smells like her perfume the whole day. One afternoon, Grandma and I go see a movie. It's about a family. I think about Mama and Papa. I miss them a lot. Are they coming back today? Not today, me. But time will fly and you'll see, she says. The next day, I try on lots of dresses at the mall. Grandma buys me too. They both matched your new shoes. I see a tiny printed dress. It's pink, like the baby's room. Can we buy this one for the baby? Sure. When are mama and papa coming home? Be patient. 
it's almost it's been almost a week the next morning she says let's go mate at the airport grandma pats my knee as we wait soon finally i see papa and mama holding a baby i'm so happy grandma whispers she starts to cry sometimes grandma's hard to figure out come meet sophie me papa says oh the baby sophie takes my finger and won't let go hi sophie i'm your sister i'm going to help push you on the swings i'm going to help keep the geese away do you like stories and she gives a tiny smile and i smile back that night we read library books together then i tell her her story her story i point to the map on the store on the place called haiti I tell her how Mama and Papa flew over the sea to an island to adopt her. How we all looked in our hearts and saw her there. Oh, she's passionate on the tradition. And how we knew she was just right for our family. Isn't that beautiful? I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time with me, Michelle, keep shining your light bright. Bye for now.